Let's take a look at the Open in Acrobat feature of ID Marks. I have a CS6 file open here in ID Marks. I'm going to click on Open in Acrobat, and you see that it just created a PDF file, and this PDF file is now open in Acrobat. What's really cool is I can go ahead and create annotations for this. I can go ahead and highlight text if I want. I can go in here and create another annotation. I can highlight text here as well. And then I'm simply going to save. You can see the timestamp here is 507. When I save in Acrobat, that's going to update that to 508. I do have InDesign CC 2019 loaded. So here's a nice little trick. I'm going to double click on the CS6 file. And that's going to open it up in InDesign CC 2019. So my file is now open in CC 2019, a file created in InDesign CS6. But because this PDF is created out of ID Marks, I can now import the comments from that PDF file, 508, 508. And those comments show up in InDesign CC 2019 and behave just like comments that would be associated with a native CC 2019 file. So I'm now able to do annotations on older InDesign files if I pass them through ID Marks into Acrobat DC. I should make a backup of this file as well. If I accidentally hit Command S, I'm going to overwrite that file. But not to worry, I can use ID Marks IDML export feature to bring that in back into CS6.